Hey everybody, welcome back to Runaway Rose. Today I'm at Southland RV in Norcross, Georgia. I'm going to check out some brand new truck campers. We're going to check out three brand new Lance truck campers, an 825, a 960, and 1172. Let's go. So I was thinking we could check these out numerically. So we're going to check out the 825 first, because I've never seen an 825, and I've never seen a 960, so looking forward to checking out both of those. So let's go do a walk around on the 825. All right, here we go. We got a brand new 2023 Lance 825. This is for a short bed, a uh, six and a half foot bed uh, pickup truck. It's good looking. It's like the graphics on there, kind of matches with the same as that 1172 back there. And uh, check this out. Got a nice front cap on it. It's got uh, happy jacks on here. These are 4220s. And uh, there's no swing out brackets on there, but most people that buy an 825 are probably not going to need swing out brackets. But you never know. Might have a short bed dually, a Ram Mega Cab or something. It fit on there quite nicely. I don't know how much of the uh, doors are open, but it's the propane. Looks like a, a single 20 pound propane in there. Looks like they're replacing a vent up there. Refrigerator. I like how the Lances have lights on all three sides. Water heater, all your furnace, all that in there. Let's see if here. Okay, so we got a little storage area there on the driver's side. That's nice. This is probably the, the water area. Well, another storage area down here. Very cool. And let's see, are the connections it? There's the, the uh, city water and the black tank flush. Let's see, check out the back here. got a rear awning on it it's got the, the docking lights which I really love uh, it's got a fold-out step that's cool it's got a uh, power uh, electronic door lock this must be for the dump valve maybe let's see yeah there's some valves in there yeah there's a dump valve in there there you go all right, I like those tail lights. It's good looking. So on the back on the passenger side, you got a large awning on the passenger side and a rear awning. Very nice. It's got some outdoor speakers. It's got the, the lights on the, on the right side as well. Let's go on in and take a look. Actually, let's first check out the, the specs here. So there's the, the number, so you can pause that and check that out. Sorry about all the noise out there. We're right up against the highway, so it gets pretty noisy around here, but uh, it's pretty roomy for a small truck camper. Look at that, it's got a U-shaped dinette. Really nice. Got some cabinets up above. Got some kitchen area here. It actually has a big countertop space. I like that countertop, it's a pretty countertop. So you get a lot of, you got two burner, microwave up there, fan, sink, got a window over the sink, very nice. Got a set of wardrobe there next to the door, that's always nice. Let's see if I can get a, this will show up here, I get the actual true weights for this camper. This is the interior of the 825. That, and tables and uh, dinette area is nice and big they can comfortably seat probably three or four people around there and uh, got a radio up there and then you got your 
uh, water tank controls and levels, level meter. Here's a bathroom with a sliding door. Wet bath. There's no sink in here, which I think that makes perfect sense. It's a small bathroom. Why take up more space with a sink? But you got a skylight and a fan. And uh, let's uh, check this out. Stand in here and see. Okay, so I'm, I'm six foot tall, and this skylight gives me some extra headroom here. So that actually works pretty well. Not bad at all. Got a, got a uh, shower curtain there. Let's close the door to the bathroom. Go on back, take a look. Here's the bed area. Got a big box in the way. But it's a 80 inch bed, so it's nice and comfortable. Plenty of room. Got a little shelf up there. That's cool. And I uh, got a window on each side, a TV here. And I uh, can't see what else is over there. So, <clears throat> move that box here. There we go. See the bed area, got some some lights over the bed. Very nice. So going back to the kitchen area, here's the refrigerator. Refrigerator, a little freezer area up here. So that's nice. Pretty decent, decent size there. You get plenty of groceries in there to go camping for a weekend or, or whatever. So there you go. There's a brand new 2023 Alance. 825 I do not see a price sheet in here for it and uh, otherwise I would show that to you but you can go online at Southland RV and check it out and uh, there it is 825 now there's the uh, solar controller and the awning uh, controls and the light exterior light bath light down there so a very nice camper very nice a lot of storage as well as this upper storage over the dinette will fold down and make a bunk bed. So, very cool. Speakers on the on the roof, AC. There it is. Let's go check out the 960. All right, so next up is a 2023 Lance 960. I'm very excited to check this camper out. I haven't seen one in person. It's a big camper, but it has no slides, so that's really cool. Uh, so I'm looking forward to checking it out. Let's go cruise around the outside and uh, see that first. So there it is, Lance 960. It's a good looking camper, very good looking. Good size and good looking. It does have a large uh, side awning uh, like that. It's got the same graphics as the other campers, black and white graphics. It does have the swing out brackets there, so it'll fit on a dually. Very nice. Looks good. It does have uh, those uh, bubble acrylic kind of windows. Uh, some people love them, some people not so much because they can scratch if branches hit them. But uh, other than that, they're, they're really nice windows. Um, I don't know if this is open here. No, it's not open. I don't have a key to these. This one does have the Truma a water system so that's nice down here you got the fresh water and the uh, black water flush so this is interesting the plug is actually in the back instead of the front uh, where ours is so they change the location for the plug so this must be down here probably the the dump valves There's the back of it. Nice big awning on the back. It has a step bumper. I did prefer the Ultra Deck bumper that uh, we had on our Lance 975, but this is a pretty good size step, but that Ultra Deck was really great. But uh, that'll open up. You can store the uh, dump hose in there. And it's got some swing, swing down steps that'll mount down there. And it has a nice big tall door, which I really like. And again, it's got the docking lights on the back as well as the, the lights on each side. So very nice. Let's see if I can get the specs here on camera. So you can pause it and check that out. 
Here's a 960, 9 foot, 11 inches. Here's, here's the back and the right side. It's a really good looking camper. I like it a lot. I like how the, this is a refrigerator vent it looks like. So it probably has a vent up on top, it does. I like campers that have uh, refrigerator vents on the roof because you know heat rises obviously so in my personal opinion I feel like they cool and stay the refrigerator functions better when the heat is able to get out easier when it vents off the roof down here we got a uh, the propane tanks two horizontal 20 pound propane tank it looks like so that's cool that's nice those are expensive propane tanks you don't want to have to replace those horizontal ones because uh, they are very expensive so you pretty much have to get those refilled uh, you can't just exchange them you know at the local gas station or anything it does have a generator down here let's see if it's unlocked no it's not so all right let's go on in and take a look again the exterior uh, electronic door latch and at the door you, got, you do have the nice big drawer that comes out underneath so you can put a lot of storage in underneath that our Lance 975 had that we really like that at the entrance you have all the controls for the awnings and the lights exterior left right lights and the awning lights and the battery disconnect and, and all that so Yeah, this feels actually pretty roomy in here for a camper with no slides. I like it. I like it a lot. I do like these cabinets. Um, it's a different style than, than certainly what we have. But it uh, gives it a little bit more of a modern look in here, I think. Shut the door. Keep some of that noise out. The highway is noisy. So, up here on the roof... We got the new Truma air conditioner and I could be wrong but I think it may also be a heat pump too uh, but I'm not 100% on that but uh, it might be so let's look back at the door area so there's the face in the door got a refrigerator over here and the bathroom over here on the right side so let's check out this actually there's also a large wardrobe here big wardrobe very nice, you can hang a lot of stuff in there. So that's really nice that it's right next to the door. You know, you can put your jacket in there or pull one out before you go outside. Big refrigerator, refrigerator freezer. It's a good size. I don't know what cubic foot that is, but uh, it's a pretty good size. Ought to be plenty to go camping. And uh, let's try out the, the, the bathroom here. So this is a wet bath. In here but it looks like it's a pretty roomy wet bath there's a lot of floor space to stand on down there toilet built-in sink it's got a uh, full fiberglass unit so I like that it's got a skylight up on the roof got a fan in the bathroom so let me uh, stand in here and see how it fits all right I'm standing in the wet bath of the 960 and uh, I got plenty of headroom especially with the skylight here there's plenty of headroom there you know I, I got room to actually kind of like spread my feet down here and uh, kind of move around so this isn't bad this would definitely work as a wet bath I mean you know all wet baths are typically kind of tight but um, yeah get everything you need to do in here so also in the bathroom have a little door underneath the sink and that's where the toilet paper holder goes in there along with some access to some plumbing there's also a medicine cabinet here so you can put stuff in there and there's a removable rod here so that uh, you can hang stuff or towel or whatever you want in the bathroom when you're not using it all right so here's the living area of the camper it's got a good sized kitchen it's got a lot of countertop space 
Really like that. It's got an oven. It's got a fan hood. I'm guessing maybe there's a microwave up here. Let's see. Let's see. There it is. Yep, there's a microwave. I do like how it's actually hidden. That's pretty nice. And uh, this countertop is really pretty, real smooth. It's got a pop-up uh, electrical outlet, I think. I don't know how you work it. Somehow. I've seen it online. Oven with a glass door, a window, and a glass top. Good size sink with the spray faucet. Pull it down, there you go. Pretty cool. Got a big window there. Let's see. I think this might be, yeah, it's got a trash can down there. And uh, some storage space underneath the sink there. And you know, you got three, three drawers, decent sized drawers, so don't need to open them all up, but you got a little step there to get up on the bed. You got the couch. You can get the 960 with the couch or the uh, like swivel captain chairs. And uh, they don't have one of those here, but uh, just have the couch version. And got some, a lot of storage area. Oh, that actually turns into a drop down bed too, I guess. So that's interesting. Got a little bit of storage area. So you drop it down, I guess that's how that works. So. All right, I'm gonna sit down and try out this couch. Pretty nice. It's real similar to the couch in our 1172, about the same size. And uh, it's got the, the leg kick out area there as well. Real similar. And then right here is where it looks like these tables go down in there and so these tables will, will swivel around in front of you one on each side so pretty cool like the couch you can kind of stretch out put a pillow watch tv tv's right there so that's pretty nice got a big window to be able to see outside pretty cool it's a nice comfortable layout of a camper without having a slide the kitchen the kitchen actually does have some more uh, storage area there so we've got all the pantry area there and then another drawer down here and then this I believe is well it's another uh, storage area and a bathroom light right there very cool on the pantry door shows the label that shows the exact weight of this camper so it looks like it's actually 4,029 pounds uh, for this camper. I'm not sure if that includes wet weight. The camper weight, as far as standard camper, is 3717, uh, but that probably does not include everything. So this camper is probably a little over 4,000 pounds. And then uh, let's go back and check out the bed area here. So it's got a nice big bed, 80 inch bed, queen size bed. You got wardrobe over there on the right side and some storage down there uh, on each side of the bed got a little drawer on this side and then you got the uh, TV and the stereo and uh, some little storage area there underneath so that's really handy I wonder if there's uh, I'm not sure that must be a TV or something controller up there I don't know there's a plug up there beside the TV so that could be real handy to plug your phones in it's got some uh, nice lights on each side of the bed and a skylight and some uh, speakers over the bed as well as in the living area so this camper is pretty well decked out it's got a nice uh, fan in the living area so and it's got the, the little nice little Lance puck lights, the battery's not hooked up, so. Very nice, there it is. Lance 960. Good looking camper, nice roomy camper for a non-slide unit. And last up is the 2023 Lance 1172. Let's go check it out. That is a good looking camper right there. I do like the graphics, the black and gray graphics on there. 
it's really nice looking a little little bit different color scheme and graphics than on our 1172 because uh, ours is a 2020 but uh, other than that they are very similar this Lance the newer ones do have the acrylic windows uh, which is the new thing that they're doing on the Lance campers it's got solar up there and a big uh, TV antenna up there wine guard looks like and here is maybe it's open let's see looks like it is it's the water pump area so you can get to that nice access to the water pump you got some outdoor speakers and here is the two 30 pound propane tanks so that's really nice got a lot of propane on board here and uh, got a big door I do love the big door on on the Lance campers this staircase looks like it has not been put on yet again sorry about the noise very noisy here right up against the highway I like the, the black awnings look really cool let's check out the, the numbers here so you can pause that check it out again if you want see what the weights are right there this one says 4772 and that's uh, probably not including the AC and the generator if I had to guess so uh, these 1172's are heavy campers ours is right around 5,000 pounds let's walk around to the driver's side here there you go good looking again acrylic windows nice graphics and this side has the refrigerator vents and the two two storage areas underneath see this one has the the plug up front and it also has the water connections and dump valve or dump connection down there for the water so is the newer generator qg 25 ilp I hear those are nice and quiet generators, but uh, I don't know, I've never used one, but I uh, hear they're a lot quieter than the old ones. And here's all the water connections and valves and outdoor shower and all that and the drains. There's the back. Underneath the... the rear slide you have a large uh, storage area there it's locked so I'm not going to be able to get in it okay let's go on in and uh, get away from this noisy highway take a look at this 1172 all right that's much better without all that highway noise here so it's a nice roomy camper I do love the space in these 1172s nice big dinette there this one has the optional drop-down bunk bed thing, uh, which ours does not have that, but we don't have any kids, so we don't need it, but uh, very nice. Here's the kitchen. This one has the convection oven there instead of the actual gas oven. It's got the pop-up shelf there that folds down. Let's see if I can get it to do that one-handed there we go there we go it folds down like that again love these countertops nice and smooth really pretty countertops there's there's the sink swivel faucet all right in the kitchen you got a good bit of storage up here see on ours we have the microwave up here but uh, without the microwave up there you got a lot more storage so that part is nice it depends on if you like a uh, gas oven or not or a convection microwave is fine for you so that, that just depends on your preference there's a pantry there and a pantry down there there's the, the rear couch it's got the same little uh, kick ups it does not recline but the legs uh, do kick up so you can rest your legs on that nice big rear window 
I like the, the flooring that's in here. It kind of looks like a tile floor. And the newer 1172s, they do not have a window here. Like ours has a big window there, but the newer models don't have that. It's just one of the differences. And uh, here's a sticker there. They can see what their show pricing was. I don't know what it is anymore. Um, there's your controls, water tank levels, and generator, and solar. Big TV. It's got a big uh, refrigerator, freezer. So that is nice. You can get a lot of food in there to last a long time. Let's check out the, the bathroom. I did just notice that on ours it has a mirror right here. I guess they did away with the mirror on these newer models. Here's the bathroom. Dry bath, toilet, and big uh, vanity countertop. So you got a lot of room there. You got a medicine cabinet up top and a big mirror. And there's the, the shower. You got a skylight in there and uh, it's a good size shower. We've used ours and a lot and it works great it's very roomy and spacious and this shower bar will swing out so that you have a lot more shower curtain area space in there and then just swings back to get it out of the way so that's how that works very nice dry bath they're hard to beat these uh, Lance dry baths they got back here is the bedroom area you got a got a curtain you can close off if you want but it has a an 80 inch queen size mattress and uh, so that, that is nice got some storage over here stereo got some more storage up top and a little storage bin back there and another one over there on the other side as well as a big wardrobe area there skylight and uh, speakers very nice it's a very comfortable bed and and uh, camper to spend some time in very roomy camper I did notice that this camper has a, a Coleman air conditioner and uh, ours has a Dometic so maybe these Coleman ones are a little bit quieter than the Dometics I don't know then the Dometics they work well but uh, they are kind of noisy but uh, I don't know about the Coleman's so Beautiful camper, Lance 2023 1172. It's hard to go wrong if you want some, some space, be very comfortable and uh, while you're camping and, and traveling and doing what you're doing, it's, it's a tough camper to beat, that's for sure. There are some nice ones out there, but uh, we have thoroughly enjoyed the comfort and the space that we've uh, got out of ours. And it's a 2020, so this 2023, it's even uh, a little fresher and uh, different colors and very nice. Here's the sticker for the Lance. It's inside the cupboard door. You can try to pause that and check that out. So this camper it looks like it's uh, 4,962 pounds um, with factory installed optional equipment. So. There's that, and then the, the camper weight with uh, standard equipment, it's 47.72, so, um, you know, again, it's a heavy camper. Got to have the right truck to haul this camper safely and comfortably. So there it is. There's the tour of the all three Lances they have here at Southland RV in Norcross, Georgia. The 825, the 960, and the 1172. Really enjoyed coming here and checking it out. I want to say thank you to Southland uh, for letting us come here and film. And uh, we actually bought our Le Lance 1172 from Karen that actually works here uh, last year. So uh, you, can come, you can come ask for her or any one of the salesperson will be glad to help you if you're interested in a Lance camper. And they also have several other camper, truck campers here as well as travel trailers and motorhomes. So check them out, Southland RV. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time on Runaway Roses. Bye-bye.